Hey guys, Magnus Robber here, and welcome to another episode of TSTO Battle of the Best Events, where we're basically just versing these events that didn't quite make the original Battle of the Best Events, uh, just to make sure that we've still got the best of the events, or at least the event that's best, in my opinion, applying this particular criteria. I still don't think Destination Springfield is the my favourite. Maybe you could say it's objectively the best, I don't know, but I feel like... Even that, I don't know if I fully agree with. It's weird, it's just the criteria I've used, and maybe I'm a bit biased at parts. It's really hard to, like, you know, completely devoid myself, and because I'm always going to pick the event that I think's the best, or, you know, I, I, subconsciously I'll, I'll give extra points to a certain character here and there. I don't know, it's, it's really hard. But um, here we've got, the obviously, the finals today is Rise of the Robots versus Into the Simpsons versus... There was the bronze match. I didn't want to do a separate episode for the bronze match, so I'm just going to tell you how it would have gone down. Um, I, I worked it all out. So for structure and theme, I think Treehouse of Horror would have won. Um, Classic Reads has a terrible uh, structure. Um, the theme is a very inconsistent and is so poorly put together. It's a cool idea, don't get me wrong, but like it, it's so poorly executed. Whereas Trials of Horror has a great theme, um, it's pretty decent structure. I will admit some of the prizes aren't great, but hey, hey the structure is is all there. So yeah, that would get the point for that. In terms of characters, it would go to Trials of Horror as well, but only ever so slightly. Uh, it would have only been a point ahead, Classic Reads, so, but it would have got that point. And then Buildings would have gone to Classic Reads Christmas Royale. I do think the Buildings in Classic Reads Christmas Royale are... A bit better than Trials of Horror, personally. And decorations would have also gone to uh, Classic Creed's Christmas Royale. I think the decorations, just ever so slightly, by two points, are better than Trials of Horror's decorations. Some of Trials of Horror's decorations I wasn't too crazy about. I think uh, some of them, because they're like things that you would find, like you know, like the lockers and all that. It's just stuff that I personally don't think is very easy to decorate. But in terms of the overall field point, I would have given it to... Triasa Horror, so Triasa Horror would have won. So Triasa, oh god, hello. So Triasa Horror would have taken the bronze match. Uh, they would have taken that title, so they would have been third place, and Clash of Creeds would have been um, not in third place. I guess technically fourth place, but honestly, I probably would say Clash of Creeds was actually. To be fair, it's worse. It's worse than the Van Houtens. The Van Houtens is better, but it wouldn't have been. I actually think it probably would have been better than Love and War. Yeah, I'd say it's better than Love and War and in Light Springfield and Lion. So it's fifth place, I guess. Yeah, it would have been fifth place. So today we are versing, of course, the two finals, which is Rise of Robots versus Into the Simpsons verse. So let's go. Boom. Starting off with the order of the events, we'll, of course, talk about Rise of Robots. So Rise of Robots for me is... A very awesome event in terms of theme. I actually really love the robot theme. I think it's really cool. You know, it allows for a lot of different unique kind of characters and sort of different, uh, well, different robot characters really, which is very awesome. So the theme for me is spot on. What about the structure? Well, I think the structure for the most part is very good. Act one, I think is pretty decent. Is actually very decent. Act two is very decent too. I think act two is probably my favorite. Uh, Act 3 is very good as well. Act 4 isn't as good. Uh, at the very least, at least it does have Cyborg Bart in the prize track. But I think ending it with the ATM Bart, the Squishy Machine Bart, and the Hot Dog Cooker Bart was a bit underwhelming. I think all three of those prizes, they're cool, but I really think they should have just been three and one. Like, we should have got all three of them as a combo. Then that way, we could have got another decoration at, and also another character you know, or a costume in the end of the prize track. So, yeah, that's just my opinion on the structure for that. I didn't think it was, um, it was, it was good. It was just Act 4 was a bit weak, but it was a solid structure overall. Then we have Into the Simpsons first. Of course, the theme is that one Treehouse of Horror episode, and we're getting different uh, versions of Homer and other Simpsons characters or other Simpsons family members. And we as well had the Princess Jewels tie-in from, obviously, that season, was it 32 episode? Uh, the, the, uh, so that the, the theme's good. The structure is, 
the, the, there's there's one big issue with the structure, okay? And that's tokens take up a prize track, which annoys the hell out of me. I don't like it when tokens take up a slot in the prize track. I just think it's poor. Um, I, I much would prefer a prize take that track and then we just get the token with it. There is some cool stuff, though. Um, Act uh, 1, 2, and 3 are fairly solid. Uh, Act 4, though, kind of has the same problem as Rise of Robots, where it is, no, there's, it's all structured wrong, but added on top is this one didn't even have a character or costume in Act 4 whatsoever. So which one would I give the point to? Obviously, for structure and theme, it's going to go to Rise of Robots. I just think the the token thing plus Act 4 being a bit of a mess uh, in uh, Into the Simpsons verse kind of just hits it over the edge. I don't know which one I would say I theme wise I prefer because I really think the uh, Into the Simpsons first stuff was awesome. So it, it's kind of difficult. Um, I might say Rise of Robots though. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I think structure it ultimately uh, beats it on anyway. So yeah, the point goes to Rise of Robots. Moving on, let's get on to some characters. So let's start off with, of course, the order of the events, which is Rise of Robots. So we have Chief Knocker Homer. Chief Knocker Homer, I'm going to give two points to. I think he's fine as a costume, uh, as a character. I would much prefer him be a costume, but I think for what we got, he is cool. Frank Jr. is fine, I guess. He's nothing crazy. He gets two points. Bestius Muncho uh, gets, yeah, gets two points, I'd say. Uh, Robot Rumble announcers, I think they're okay as well. They get two points. The Lovebot doesn't get a point. Cyborg Willy, I'll give a point to. Brenda, I actually going to give one, two, three points to. I think she's very cool. And Carnage Destructi Destructicus just gets the one point. I think his animations are a bit weak and his uh, quest lines are a bit weak. Cyborg Bot is very cool. I'm going to give that one, two, three, meaning that the ends with 16 points. Oh, wait. And we also got NPCs. Uh, Bear Robot gets two, and Rafa Cop gets two. Screw it. That means they finish with 20 points. Okay, moving on. We have Into the Simpsons verse. So, what characters do we get here? Let's have a look. We got Noir Homer. I think he's very cool. Gonna give him one, two, three. Uh, Princess Homer, I'm gonna give her one, two, three, four. Very cool character. Anime March, I'm just going to give the 1.2. Noir Lisa just gets the 1 point as well. Anime Homer gets 1, 2, 3 points. The Ethereal Beings, I'm just going to give the 1.2. I don't think they're that crazy. I'm not crazy about them. I, I just found their quest line and animation a bit crummy. Evil Godmother Burns gets 1, 2 points just for that animation. Princess Jewels is like fine. I'll just give her a 1. Uh, Pixel Homer sadly doesn't get a point because... He is super premium. And the Royal Unicorn, I'll just give the 1.2. Meaning that Into the Simpsons verse finishes with a total of 17 points. Meaning the winner of this round is Rise of Robots. Awesome. Moving on to character uh, characters buildings. So, what do we Rise of Robots have? We have the Prodigy Barn. I like this one. I think it's cool. It gets two points. The Robo Rumble Studio is an awesome, awesome building. It gets two points. The Robo Robotics Laboratory, bit bland, just gets the one. Emma doesn't get a point. Shouldn't be a building. The Robot Rumble Arena, I hate the scale. I hate the way it's scaled, and it shouldn't be a building. Doesn't get a point. Mr. Sparkle Factory, I actually really hate this one as well. I hate to say it, but it looks so plain and so. It just looks so plain and bland that it doesn't fit right. It just doesn't feel right in, in my town. So I'm not a massive fan of that one either. Uh, but I will give it one point just to be nice. And the Thai Food Factory gets two points. It's cool looking. So that means they finish with eight points. And then moving on, we have Into the Simpsons Verse. So we got the Private Investigator Office. That one gets two. The Anime Krusty Burger gets two as well. Yo-Yo's Cloud Palace just gets the one. New Tube gets two. Gim Gimbal's Department Store just gets the one point. The Anime District just gets the one point. The Alien Utopia, again, just the one point. The Fantasy Mountain Castle, though, gets two. And the Cookie Castle gets two. Sure, doesn't really matter because it's got uh, 14 points, meaning the winner is Into the Simpsons Verse. Moving on to Decorations. Of course, Into the Simpsons first still has a very good chance of winning, and so does Rise of Robots. But we're moving on to decorations. Okay, let's go. 
So we got the Chocobots from this is for all, of course Rise of Robots. The Chocobots, they get one point, they're fine. The trophy doesn't get a point. The award show enforcement bar gets two. I actually like that one. The Smashiest Clay gets two. I like that one too. Flanders Carbot and Homer's Carbot. I'm just gonna give them two for both of them. The Giant Balls Cola Can doesn't get a point. The the free, the squishy, the hot dog, the ATM. I'm just gonna give them two for all three of them. Killy gets a point. And the human foosball table, I'm not gonna give a point to. So that they means they finish with a total of ten. Then we have it into the Simpsons verse. So what do we have? We have the alternative universe computer, uh, just the one point. The paddy wagon, one point. Pumpkin carriage, that gets two. I like that one. The land of fruit and vegetables, I'll give that one two as well. Uh, the shit, uh, shiri, shiri, that thing, that gets one point. The battle van gets a point. The Ooze Candy Paris gets two. And uh, the space time continuum gets just the one. Meaning the winner of the decoration point is into the Simpsons verse. So we have it stalemate. We have a tie. Sadly, ah, oh, I hate it when this happens. The overall field point goes to Rise of Robots. There you have it. I finished it. Why is it doing this? Anyway, the winner, of course, of this round or this little batch is Rise of Robots. I think it's the best event out of all of them. Not gonna lie. I know some people will disagree. Some people will like Trials of Horror more. Look, I hate I hate the Halloweens. I'm not. I I just I'm I'm just iffy on the Halloweens. Okay. I much prefer the characters in the Halloween event. I think I think I probably that's the one opinion I probably would change. And I think building wise, uh, it's they're about on par to be honest. But I think structure and theme wise, I, or at least theme wise anyway, I prefer uh, Rise of Robots. Hey, that's just me. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this this video. Sorry, I kind of rushed it. I'm like done with this series. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna get quickly done, and then I can get on to just versing new events. Obviously, we'll verse Rise of Robots against Destination Springfield. And then, throughout then, I can just verse new events against Destination Springfield. And it just, I don't know. I think I prefer that that way of doing it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts and all that. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye.